DNA technology has settled the mystery of Ned Kelly by positively identifying the bushranger's remains. Forensic scientists have confirmed the DNA of an almost complete skeleton discovered at the old Pentridge prison has matched that of a Kelly descendant. But the whereabouts of the bushranger's skull are still unknown. They've been bones of contention for years. But now the mystery is over, the case closed. Victorian Institute of Forensic Medicine is CSI turbocharged and with the lights on. It all started with this skull, which was stolen from the old Melbourne jail in the 70s. It was handed in two years ago, complete with an inscription. But scientists found it wasn't from Ned's head. They turned their attention instead to an archaeological dig at the old Pentridge prison and a mass grave full of bones transferred there from the old Melbourne jail in the 1920s. This almost complete skeleton, found in a wooden box, became the principal suspect. Inside the tibia or the lower leg were removed two small pellets. The remains have injuries which match the medical records of injuries sustained by Ned Kelly. Then, with the help of a friendly lab in Argentina, DNA samples were tested and matched against Kelly's great-great-grand-nephew. The resemblance was irrefutable. It's such a great relief to finally have this side of the story resolved. What's not resolved is the whereabouts of the bush ranger's skull, as well as a decision over what to do now with the remains. A place of dignity, a place very appropriate. Where that is will be determined. The state government says it's exploring options and won't rule out some sort of public display. Jeff Waters, ABC News.